Hi, and welcome to me and Elvis is here to uh, give his opinion about some albums. Or Elvis, what do you say? Okay, let's start. You know, I show you this uh, album when I say uh, I get great Christmas gifts from my daughters. This one was from my youngest daughter and I have now listened at it. Blue Oyster Cult and the symbol remains. You know, this album was uh, released 2020 and that was Blue Oyster Cult's first release since 2001 a studio release i should say and i can promise you i get so surprised over how good just every song is this could has have had been on uh, released from the 70s it, it's just fantastic and I'm really happy to own this great great album and it was not so far ago I show you on, on Blue Oyster Cult from the 70s and uh, here they comes again and uh, it's gonna be that way sometimes because <laughs> many of the band have done so many albums but uh, this one great 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 and please check this out it's a double album and uh, like i said all of the songs so great fantastic that was uh, really impressive for a, a band that has been around so long okay i know it don't so many original members left but um, i don't know here donald buck dharma and eric bloom is absolute from the start and we have albert bocard he has was in the band before here is backing vocals and cobel Cowbell. But uh, like I said, fantastic album. Really, you must listen to it. And here a premiere. Here is uh, a, an album with a band that called Black Uniforms, Faces of the Death. And this is a premiere because it's my first Swedish band I present here. I had never heard about uh, this band before, even if I was much into punk rock at the start of the 80s uh, and end of the 70s, but always Kiss in the first place, of course. <laughs> and that really uh, pissed off the, <laughs> the real punk rockers all the time when uh, they talk about uh, what is your favorite band. Uh, my absolute favorite band is Kiss, I said. Uh, after that came uh, Sweet and then Sham 69, a real punk rocker. And uh, they call me, they say I'm a diaper punk rocker because <laughs> I like Kiss and Sweet in the first place. And uh, the, the, this band was uh, active from only from 80 to 83, I think, or so. And they are from Gothenburg. And this album is a comp compilation album, a sampler album. And uh, here they are. They uh, don't like so much of punk rocks. I think sometimes the singer reminds a little about Lemmy, but uh, the, the, this is all all great, really great. And when, when I uh, check in the album, I, I think this is a, maybe a promo album or something. I can't translate everything here in this letter. The band has had this letter. And uh, that's from 
The Sisters, Britta and Ulla Svensson. And they are Christian in uh, the, 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 I don't know what you call it, but, but the, the one that they belong to call uh, the word of life. And they, they write here uh, that the life should be so much easier if the band stop show them self at the, their uh, album covers and newspaper magazines and so on. And uh, they also write that they are born of the horse from Babylon. And they are bastards and uh, they want to rape uh, old ladies like these two. And it's an awesome letter. And uh, here the, the band let this letter go, go with this album. So, so I think uh, it's a, a promotion album and uh, not, not so easy to find. But uh, do you know, I, I shall try, I know this uh, whole album is at uh, YouTube. Uh, look in my description and I'm going to fix a link for uh, you that are interested to listen to it. I'm going to do that. So, um, yeah, really, it, it's absolutely not the best album I've heard, but uh, I'm happy I have heard it and I'm going to listen to it uh, again because uh, it had something. <laughs> it, it, it's really, it, it's a great album. So uh, check out Black Uniforms. Look in my description to this upload and you're going to find a link. Uh, the last album for today, it's uh, a really, really classic album and a classic band, Uriah Heep. You know, uh, I love every single album this band has released. And this one, The Magician's Birthday, every song is super. And uh, yeah, it, it's released 1972. And yeah, you can see it's early 70s at the members here. And here the fantastic, fantastic great Lee Kerslake. What a drummer. May him rest in peace. And um, you know this classic song, Crazy Train with Ozzy Osbourne. The... the the drums that Lee come up with at that song is fantastic. A really skilled drummer, really. If you don't are so much into Uriah Heep's music, listen to the drums. He is awesome. And uh, I, I had really want to see this band live with the original members. It should have been great and um, honestly I don't know how many is left I, I think Mick Box the guitarist uh, still uh, still uh, uh, go on with the band and um, the original singer was his name David Byron uh, I, I think he passed away already 1979 or so but uh, this is fantastic album. Please listen to it. So that uh, is what I have for you today. And I'm recording this at uh, Saturday. So I'm waiting here now for Henrik to send over the key song. I'm going to hopefully upload today later. If I, if I think it's okay and sounds okay. If it's not, there don't be any upload. Okay. Have a great weekend, my friends. See you 